Hello everyone, my name is Amy and welcome to your one dumbbell workout. For today's workout, you will need one dumbbell, uh, some space to move around, make sure you have some water to stay hydrated and also a sweat towel. Um, I will be, you can use a medium to heavier weight. I'll be using one 15 pound uh, dumbbell, but you can go lighter or heavier depending on your fitness level. Um, so today's workout is 30 minutes long. We'll go till 1230 PM. Uh, we have two blocks today. We have one cardio block where we'll use uh, one dumbbell to get the heart rate up. And then we'll, and we'll perform each exercise for 45 seconds. And you can just go as hard or as easy during those 45 seconds. Then we'll rest for 15 seconds and do four more moves. So five uh, cardio exercises. Then we'll move on to a block of five core exercises. No equipment, we'll just be down on the floor working our abs and our back. And we'll stick to the same format of 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. And we'll superset between the two. So we'll do that cardio, then we'll do the core, cardio, core, uh, warm up, and a pull down. So let's get started with our warm up first. So let's begin uh, taking deep breaths in and out. So as we take a deep breath in, we're going to reach the arms up overhead, a nice big full body stretch. And then as we exhale, we'll just let the arms go, add a little bend in the knees. Inhale, reach up, exhale, let it go. So I'll be offering different modifications and intensity levels for each exercise along the way. So you can go again, lighter or heavier, depending how you're feeling today. Okay, so let's bring our feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. And we're just gonna come into some nice and easy body weight squats. So with our squats, we wanna make sure our weight is on our heels. Our toes are lifted up off the floor. That'll help protect the knees. And again, we're still warming up, so you don't have to sink as low or deep into your squat. Just as low as you comfortably can. Getting the muscles moving, the blood flowing, getting pumped up. Okay, let's bring our arms up overhead. And then we're gonna come into a squat, keep the arms reaching up, and then reach for the toes and straighten the legs so we have a nice stretch behind the legs. And then roll yourself up. So reach the arms up, come into your squat, reach for the toes, straighten the legs, roll yourself up. Let's do that two more times. Last one. All right, good. Now you can do some shoulder rolls, get the upper body warmed up some more. Okay, our next uh, warm up move we'll have our feet hip distance apart. So they'll be a little bit closer together than they were for the squats. You'll take a big step forward, lunging down. And then the arms will be up overhead, bend the elbows, and then press the forearms together. So this is a good warm up exercise for the upper body, the chest. Okay, let's do one more, then we'll come back to the center. And then let's switch sides. So then the other leg takes a big lunge forward, lunge down. Reach the arms up, bend the elbows, about a 90 degree angle, and then using your chest muscles to press the forearms together. And then also think about squeezing the shoulder blades together to warm up the upper back. Okay, let's do one more. 
and then come back to the center. Okay, next we're gonna do some lateral lunges. So we were doing a forward lunges, now we're gonna lunge to the side and come back to the center. Okay, one more on each side. And we'll do some knee pulls. So you'll bring your knee in and then pull it up towards you. And if you need some support, you can always come close to a wall and then use that for balance. Okay, and then we'll do a nice little march in place, jog in place, and then we'll come into some jumping jacks. So option one, you can tap out to the side, arms reaching up and down. Or you can jump the feet out and in. All right, we're warmed up, stretched out. We always like to keep marching in place to keep the heart rate up, keep the blood flow into the muscles, stay warm. We're ready for our first exercise. And I have my little handy dandy timer on my phone to time the 45 seconds. Okay. We're ready. First exercise, I'll demonstrate and then I will start the timer. First exercise, three skaters to a front raise. And you can certainly do these exercises without any weights as well. So three skaters is when you'll step to the side like you're skating three times. And then you can have that trail leg on the floor to help with balance as you do a front press. Or you can hop, stand on one leg, and then press the weight to the front. Let's go in 10 seconds. So just like you're skating side to side. Okay, ready, set, go. We have three of these. One, two, three, hold, and just push that weight away, and then pull it back in. And, whoop, Every three skaters, you'll be switching legs. So we're more than halfway through this exercise. We only have 15 seconds to go. Okay, I have to do with the first one. We have 15 second rest. Next exercise, two dumbbell swings. So feet wide like a squat in the warm up. Swing the weight two times, hold it. Here we go, hold it at the chest. Step in and out two times. So two swings, hold the weight at the chest and then come in and out. One. Two, in, out, in, out. Ten seconds to go. Keep moving. Okay, we have a lateral lunge, similar to what we were doing with our warm up, but we're gonna add a twist to the side. So let's stay on the same side 
for the whole 45 seconds. Same leg. So it's that lateral lunge. Come back to the center. Twist to one side. Lunge. Twist. And when you're twisting, you'll want to pivot on that opposite foot. So remember what side we're on. When we go through this again, we'll do the other side. All right, next we have a plank. Well, no, not yet. We have a dumbbell swing. You're gonna swing the weight up overhead. Hold the arms up overhead as you come into a reverse lunge. Swing the weight low and then high up overhead. Hold it there as you take a big lunge back. Okay, last move. You have the option to do this on a couch, on your seat, or on the floor. I'm going to pause the timer real quick. You're going to be in a plank with one arm. You're going to row the weight up and down and then stand up. And you can add a reach overhead and then switch. Come back to the forearm. Then the other weight picks up the weight, puts it down, and that heel raise and reach overhead. Or you can perform the exercise on the floor instead of the chair. 45 seconds. So row the weight up and down, and then stand up for the heel raise. Big reach up overhead. And you can certainly use, you don't have to use the weight, you can step back, step forward, reach. Step back, step forward, reach. Or you can add that hop. All right, that completes cardio. We're gonna take a little longer rest about a minute rest and then we're going to move on to floor exercises no equipment for some core work so water break and i'll reset the timer so our first core exercise We'll be in on our hands and knees, on the floor, tabletop. And you're gonna tap your knee to the outside of your elbow. And then uh, come into a plank, lift the hips up and touch the toes. And then come back to that bear. So you can have your knees off the floor or knees on the floor and uh, Reach, reach with the knees for 45 seconds. Ooh, there we go. So hands and knees. Reach that knee up to the outside of the elbows then come into your plank to lift the hips up and then opposite hand, opposite toe tap. We can certainly just come up into downward dog. 
And then come back down to hands and knees. Reach, reach with the knees. Come up to downward dog. Reach, reach. Okay, next we have sit-ups. So you can anchor your feet under your, your uh, couch or your bed or your chair. And you're gonna sit up and go back down. So another option you have, you can do crunches. So you can bend your knees, feet flat on the floor, crunch up, tap for the heels, lower down, reach, reach. So exhale on the crunch up, inhale on the way down. Or you can sit all the way up. 15 seconds to go. All right, a couple more moves. We're in a forearm plank. We're gonna have our forearms parallel to each other. And this is another one you can do on your chair. And you're just gonna to turn to the side and turn to the other side. So just rolling, I like to call it a rolling side plank. So rolling from one side to the other. Make sure my forearms are parallel. And then roll to one side, then roll to the other. Ten seconds to go. Keep breathing. Almost finished. Okay, next we have a double knee crunch. So we're gonna sit on our seat. We're gonna bring the knees in and out two times and then reach for the toe and then switch. So in and out and then reach for the toe. Outlet, legs come out, they come in, reach for the toe. Or you can do uh, lift the hips up off the floor for the toe touch. Ten seconds left. All right, one more move. We have another plank variation. We're gonna be on our forearms again. So this could be on your chair or on the floor. You're gonna tap the floor. And then come up to your hands. And then back down to your forearms. And then tap, tap, then come up to your hands and then back down to your forearms. And if you're on the floor, you can always do it on your knees too. Up, up, down, down, tap, tap. All right, that completes our core circuit. Take a little longer rest. And we're gonna go back to our one dumbbell circuit. Just gonna pause. So we're officially halfway through. How are we doing so far? Good, thanks. Awesome, I'm glad to hear.
Okay, we're gonna go back to the one dumbbell, three skaters, and then press that weight away. Going in 10. Here we go. Three, two, one, two, three, and then hold here, front press. Okay, next we have two dumbbell swings. So feet wide, swing the weight up and down. Second time, hold it at the chest, fast feet in and out two times. Three, two. Swing it once. And second time, catch it at your chest, feet in and out. Okay, nice job. We have our uh, lateral lunge to the wood chopper next. So first time through, we were lunging to this side. Let's come over to this side now. Lunge and twist. Pivoting on that opposite foot. Okay, next we're gonna swing the dumbbell low, swing it high up over our head, hold it up high as you come into that reverse lunge. And three, two, hold, oh, swing low. Swing high up and hold and reverse lunge. Okay, we have our burpee next. So hands are gonna come to the floor or they can come to your chair. And then option to add that dumbbell row. seconds left.
All right, we made it. Three blocks down, one to go. Time to recharge, water break. Okay, five minutes of core, then we'll be all finished. So we'll come down to the floor, no equipment. So first we're gonna come into that bear pose. So on our hands and knees and tabletop. So you can do the bear with your knees off the floor, just like an inch or two off the floor, or you can have your knees on the floor and then come up to your plank. And then you want your knee to come to the outside of your elbow. It's a nice crunch to the obliques, to the sides of your core. And then come up. Lift the hips up, you can come into downward dog. You can reach for opposite hand, opposite toe. Crunch, crunch, and reach. Okay, sit-ups or your crunches. So crunching up, tapping the heel. Exhale and reach up, inhale on the way down. Or sitting all the way up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Ooh. Okay, next we have that, the forearm plank with our forearms parallel to each other. It's like our rolling side plank, our rolling plank. So forearms on the floor or on the chair. We're gonna come to one side and then roll to the other side. Or you can be on the floor. Okay, double knee crunch. So we'll be sitting on our bottoms, crunch the knees in two times, and then opposite hand, opposite toe touch. So in, out, in, and then toe touch. And hips can be up off the floor during that toe touch, or you can keep them on the floor. Okay, our final 45 seconds of work. It is our forearm plank. 
to the two taps on the floor. Again, this on the chair, on the floor. Come on to the, come on to the forearms. Tap, tap two times. And then come up onto the hands, back down to the forearms. Tap, tap two times. Come up, up onto the hands, back down, down. Tap, tap. Nice big reach. Fifteen seconds left. Woo, we made it. Nice job. Make your way to standing. Walk it off, march in place. So just walking around the space that you have, deep breaths. Sip the water. So we're gonna take this last minute or two to just slowly decrease the heart rate, cool down, do a couple stretches. Okay, so let's march in place. Then march the feet wide. And then plant your feet here. And then just shift your weight to one side. And then keep that head above your heart if you're still catching your breath. So we're gonna keep our feet where they are. We're just gonna pivot on our feet and face this side. So now we're gonna lunge and reach the arms up. Feel a nice stretch in the hip flexor. Arms straight and strong, just like a warrior. Okay, and then arms come down and let's face the front. Now we'll shift our weight to the other side. Okay, we're gonna keep our feet where they are. We're just gonna pivot and face this side. Now we're in a nice big lunge, reach the arms up. Okay, and then lower the arms back down. Face the front of the room, you can bring your feet back to the center. Let's open up the chest, stretch the arms, thumbs down, and then reach back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Okay, and then reach up and over to one side. And up and over to the other. Okay, let's interlace the hands and then reach forward. So it's really trying to separate the shoulder blades, stretching the upper back. And take a deep breath in, reach up, exhale down. Thank you so much for moving with me today. Hope you feel energized and accomplished. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. It was my pleasure leading you through this one dumbbell workout. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks.